Hey yo! Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't mess around and miss this way. So the big homie Snoop Dogg was on live yesterday with Fat Joe, and he say he won't smoke with maybe Jay Z. At first he said Cube, but he said it make most sense for the King of the West to link up with the King of the East, and they do it for the people. So this is what I'm trying to see: the big homie Snoop versus big homie Jigga. Who y'all think will win this battle? I ain't gonna call it right now, but you know what I'm saying Snoop got a lot of hits. Jay Z, of course, got a lot of hits. Jigga still dropping as we speak. Snoop still dropping. So this would be dope. You know what I'm saying we could get Doggy Style versus In My Lifetime and. You know what I'm saying? Classic after classic. So hopefully the uh, homies, Timberland, Swiss Beats, y'all got to set this up, man. Do what we got to do. We already was was on the puffing and Dr. Dre vibe. Now we might get Snoop and Jay-Z. This one we don't need to play with. So I'm hoping we get this. Also something going on with Jay-Z and Meek Mill, the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey. Gave $10 million to Meek and Jay for the Michael Rubin Reform Alliance. So that's kind of dope. Jay-Z and Meek still out here putting in that work. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't mess around don't I mean. and miss this way. It's hard for me to say because I just I look at everybody as equals. I don't look at nobody as less than me. Yeah, so I, you the biggest rapper in the world. Like, who the fuck? Like, really, honestly. Like, who can honestly... But we talk, oh, we're talking about twenty. We're only talking about twenty rounds. That's just twenty bullets. You know what I'm saying? That you got based off your catalog. If you ask me, if, if you if you ask me, when I first came in the rap game, Ice Cube was the king of the West Coast, right? Facts. And off the top, so that was my mission to like to try to get where he was. And I finally got to the point to where I became the king of the West Coast, to where it was known, like everybody knew, okay, Snoop is the one now. So looking across the bridge, it was the East Coast that was always the number one to me that I was always looking to try to get at. And when I came in the game, the number one East Coast nigga, it was, it was not one, it was a variety of them. And then Biggie started to make a rise, but Nas was on the rise with him. So it was like, it was never a like, who was the one one? And then Biggie passed away. And then Nas had it for a minute. And then Jay-Z took it and ran with it for a numerous amount of years. And then 50 Cent came and ran with it for a numerous amount of years. This is me looking in from the outside, looking at New York rap. So to me, it would be either a Snoop versus Jay-Z because he has been the king of New York around the time I've been the king of the Stay West. right there. Stay right there. That sounds like the ultimate battle, Snoop Dogg against Jay Z. Now I don't know if Jay Z would do it because he's it's kind of like Dr. Dre. How you were saying, he, right. that, you know, Jay Z, we love him, but Jay Jay Z introvert, quiet. You know what I mean? But Snoop Dogg, Jay Z, 